Hello there. Today I want to show you guys my curved, or rather angled, saber. So trying out that Count Dooku style. And I got this, um, actually custom built this. I uh, got all the parts from uh, Outer Rim Saber Parts. I actually got this emitter from Vire Sabers. And you can also get this curve piece from Vire Sabers. I know Crimson Dawn also has um, a saber that, ha that comes with this. I believe it's called the Dryad. But it's normally down here at this pommel, giving it kind of a pistol grip. But I really wanted it to be right under the emitter, especially with the choke point right here of this emitter, just because it gives more of a feel like what you would actually use in battle. Kind of what gives Count Dooku his edge and his dualist flair. And of course I've got this nice dark chrome switch section and grip added O-rings, simple rounded pommel, and what I've done is I, I initially intended for the switch to be kind of above and this kind of angled down this way, but the way that the curve ended up um, almost right along there, uh, I think I added maybe one O-ring to get it to fit perfectly. And then I actually super glued this switch piece and the curve. And I'll, I'll show you why. So normally you can't actually get this right at the emitter because the core points the LED straight up. Let me show you another saber here. So this is another saber that I have just to show you what the core kind of looks like right below the, um, the LED. And this core specifically is clear so that kind of helps with our visualization. So you, you can see that the switches right here uh, and then this is part of this internal core here. What I've done is I cut the plastic of the core here, and you can see, since this is see-through here, you can see that this LED module is just kind of held in place there, and it's just got some wires. So what I've done on my core here, let me take off this emitter, So you see that the LED there is at that angle, and that's what allows the light to go through um, the blade. And so what I've done, I, I cut the, the top of this core, which was the entire core was black. I just cut that part off, slid the core up through this so that the LED was kind of just dangling there. And then I put the casing on, the casing back on. So taking the casing off allowed the LED to be slim enough to kind of go through that curve. And then I, um, I had the, the switch section up a little bit higher, as high as I could get it, so I had a little bit of slack. Put that um, back on, wrapped the bottom piece with um, just a little bit of electrical tape, just so that it wouldn't be able to slide back up into uh, any emitter. Uh, so that emitter, when it screws in, it actually holds uh, this in place. Because you can see it's, it's, a little, it's a little wobbly there, but it is protected by the case here. And like I said, when, I, when you put this in, um, it actually pushes that in place. So when it's actually got your emitter in there, let me take this off. You know, it's, it's not going to go anywhere and it is not loose. And it angles the LED perfectly up through the blade. Now another thing that I really wanted to do was get like a hook right here, or like a claw, you know, very Count Dooku-esque. But I haven't quite found the piece that I like. However, I do have this piece of PVC that I, um, I painted silver, and then I drew on a chrome design, and that can fit perfectly right there with your screws. So you got your screws right there, and you can put the blade right in, and just tighten those screws, and it'll tighten it all the way to the blade, and hold down this piece. That gives it a little bit more flair. I also like using um, the light whip with this. So because this is curved handle, it works fairly well with the whip as well.
And when I shared in my video with the light whip, um, red is only really ever going to work with this light whip. And that's convenient for this because the core that I have in here is only red. Um, I, I custom ordered that to where it just has a red LED as well as a white LED for the flash, um, which you saw. And this can technically color change just like any other LG2 core. Uh, but it just changes from that white LED to the red LED, and it, it does actually mix to pink. Um, but that's, that's the only color. So, but for it to have a curved look, it's got that nice sinister black, um, that dark chrome. Uh, I think that it being red works perfectly. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm still getting used to just kind of the feel of it. Spinning is definitely a little bit different, but I can definitely see how in a duel you can definitely get some leverage over your opponent. May the force be with you.